Hey yo, E King Fight News. Y'all know what it is. And Dillian White has come back into the picture. He believes that he is the guy that should get the next rightful shot at Deontay Wilder. And he's finally willing to step in the ring with Luis Ortiz. But there's one problem in the mix. And that is his promoter, Eddie Hearn, because he will get exposed in this one. Dillian White's made a big mistake sticking with Eddie Hearn, and I'm about to tell you why. E King Fight News. All right, let me bring it back to when Dillian White fought Lucas Brown. He looked impressive for the first time in a long time because before that he had fought Robert Hellenius to grab that silver strap, that silver title that uh, he was presenting. In fact, he didn't even want to wear that silver strap for the, um, uh, the Lucas Brown fight. And it brought him back into contender status, that mentality. He's not really a champion. He's in the mix. And he, he looked impressive. He beat up on bum-ass Lucas Brown. Congratulations to him for that. You know, no shade on Dillian White, but I think it was a big mistake. It's a big, big mistake for him. Um, sticking with Eddie Hearn. You know, he did get that Anthony Joshua fight. And I'm sure that was a great fight for him. It really tested Joshua. It proved his mettle. And, I mean, that was really his purpose. Because he had beaten Anthony Joshua in the amateurs. A lot of people don't know. He, he, beat, at, he beat Anthony Joshua in the amateurs. I think more than once, if I'm not mistaken. They fought several, several times. But at least once he, beat, he, he caught Joshua slipping. And he beat him up in the amateur ranks. And they had some wars as well. So, um, Dillian... Is, is one of the better guys out there, except for the fact that he always finds himself, you know, a couple fights away from a title shot. And honestly, his promoter, Eddie Hearn, has done a shit job since he fought Anthony Joshua. I mean, he was... Dillian White... There was a point where Dillian White, Anthony Joshua... And Luis Ortiz were all under Eddie Hearn. Did he mix and match them? Did he turn his matchroom promotion game into this new age round robin that would have been an excellent set of matchups between Luis Ortiz, Dillian White, and Anthony Joshua? He didn't do that. He kept them as far away from... <laughs> he kept Luis Ortiz as far away from those two as humanly possible. So what does that tell you about Eddie Hearn? One, he doesn't like the idea of Luis Ortiz, Dillian White. That's one thing. But now he's forced to make that fight because of what happened uh, just a couple weeks ago. There was a purse bid where Eddie Hearn shit the bed and... Uh, he he didn't realize that there was an American bidder willing to put $1.5 million for the fight. He didn't do his homework. He just showed up. You know, he figured, hey, you know, he, 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 he swept some cash to um, uh, Kali Sauerland. And he, he knew he had the better bid uh, compared to uh, Sauerland promotions. So he must have thought he was gravy. But, of course, uh, there was... Epic Sports in the mix. And what happened was they put up 1.5. Eddie Hearn put up 831,000. And Eddie Hearn lost that purse bid miserably. Now, I say that to say this. There should never... I mean, Dillian White should have gotten a, a fight with Dominic Brazil. There was a time uh, a year and a half ago they could have fought. And the WBC... Um, I, I don't know if they had an eliminator uh, between Dillian and, and Dominic, but there was a, a point where they were negotiating to fight each other. And it was Eddie Hearn that didn't want to pay Brazil. That's why that fight didn't happen. Look it up. And shout to Hatman, because he covered that as well. So... 
the situation is right now is Dillian White is getting pennies to go over to Bulgaria to fight Kubrat Pulev. So what is he going to do now? He's Now he's considering this Luis Ortiz option because the WBC ordered that as, a, as a, a, some type of eliminator for the title, right? It would be the mandatory spot is what they're promising. Now, that's the WBC. Uh, the only problem is Dominic Brazil already snatched the mandatory position. So Dominic Brazil would have a priority stake to get the first shot at Deontay Wilder. Interesting how that works. So... Now, Dillian, Dillian is thinking about taking that Luis Ortiz fight because there's more money on the table. Because I told you, at the end of the day, 99% of these boxers out here will take the most money available for a fight, even Floyd Mayweather. You think Floyd Mayweather would leave $10 million on the table? Yet these guys, all these guys want to be Floyd Mayweather. I find that interesting. But Anthony Joshua can afford to leave... Five to ten million dollars on the table, take less money to go over to the UK. Okay, okay, but we're talking about Dillian White. So Dillian White is now considering Luis Ortiz, the man that he, in my opinion, he has he's shown some he, you know he, he's shown some interest in that fight, but again, the problem with Dillian White isn't Dillian White. The problem is he's still with Eddie Hearn. That's his problem. Because Eddie Hearn, talking about he signed a billion dollar deal, yet he doesn't have the money to put up for a Dillian White purse? Well, hold on a second. Hold on a second. He can't fight news. We're not done. So Eddie Hearn doesn't have the money to put up for a Dillian White purse bid. And he only he only had 830 I mean, 830K is a lot of dough. But we're talking about getting a title shot against well actually here's the here's the here's the kicker that that purse bid was for a Kubra Pulev fight for the IBF title who's holding the IBF title guys it's Anthony Joshua now does Eddie Hearn want to have Dillian White versus Anthony Joshua the answer is no if, if he wants to make that fight happen he's already stated in, in his own little fucking pocketbook plan for Anthony Joshua is that he would have wanted Dillian White to face Deontay Wilder first before he fought Anthony Joshua in a rematch. And, and you mean to tell me Dillian White should stick around with Eddie Hearn because he put him in the 0-2 versus fucking Lucas Brown? I mean, the only thing is, I guess he did decent numbers in the 0-2. But you mean to tell me Dillian White can't go over to Frank Warren and get Frank Warren to get some shit popping for him? I mean, I'm just saying. I think Frank Warren would be way more interested in, in making fights happen for Dillian White than um, Eddie Hearn right now. I mean, Frank Warren's got Huey, Huey, he's got Huey Fury out there. They can make that fight and... and and that would be a that would be a great great little elimination bout in the heavyweight division. But anyways, my point is this. Take a look at this man right here. Guess who it is? It's your boy Alexander Povetkin. Now, um, he's on the comeback trail cuz he just got popped for uh Osterine. He finally got his his papers correct. He got cleared uh, and in fact, he even won a court case against Deontay Wilder. So Pavekin's back in the mix off of a KO over David Price. And now the situation is Eddie Hearn, somehow somehow Pavekin's a mandatory, right? It was Luis Ortiz, but WBA did Eddie Hearn a favor and got rid of Luis Ortiz. <laughs> so they just, they just scratched them out of there. And they threw in Pavekin as a replacement. Now, Pavekin is durable competition, but for Eddie Hearn, let's remember this. Eddie Hearn was supposed to get Deontay Wilder to confront or do a face-to-face -face with Dillian White when Anthony Joshua went over and fought um, Joseph Parker, right? There's and, and, get, and what happened was, instead of that, 
he went and he got he threw out Dillian White at the end of that uh, Alexander Povetkin fight. He threw he threw he, he had Dillian White under his shoulder and he said, "Hey, Dillian, Dave agreed. Dave agreed to fight you." <laughs> like like just so right cuz he cuz cuz they fucked up and, and Deontay Wilder refused to go over there. So what happened is now they have a deal for Alexander Povetkin to fight Anthony Joshua. What do you think that purse is, guys? We know Joshua's supposed to make 15 million. They're gonna have at least five million over there for Povetkin. So we think a purse of at least 20 to 25 million to, to fight maybe a Cardiff. But here's the problem. You, you mean to tell me Eddie Hearn has 25 million to put up for Joshua Povetkin? But he couldn't put up 1.5. That's less than 10%. He couldn't put up 1.5 for Dillian White to get his first mandatory. Maybe he doesn't want Dillian White to be the mandatory, guys. Maybe. Or maybe not. It looks like Dillian White might pull out of this Kubrat Pula fight. And it looks like they're going to check what offer they can get from Al Heyman for Luis Ortiz. So E-King Fight News, let me know what you guys think, man. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. Man, Dillian White has done a huge disservice to himself right now, staying with Eddie Hearn. I mean, yeah, Eddie Hearn did him some big favors in the past, and maybe he feels loyal. But if Eddie Hearn couldn't put up enough money to get that mandatory for him, he knows the direction he's going into. It's, it's, it's with a fight with the Cuban monster, King Kong. The real King Kong, Luis Ortiz. The man who gave Wilder his toughest test. And that is going to be Dillian White's downfall. Because even if, if you look at his actions, when Deontay Wilder told him, hey, all you got to do is fight Dillian White, and I'll fight you no problem. Dillian White, he shut up for a minute. And he, he became quiet, you know? He didn't hear from this dude anymore. Then he showed right back up. After he beat Lucas Brown. E-King Fight News. Let me know what you guys think, man. Smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel. It is what it is. Y'all know what it is. Peace out. Take care. Amy. Louisa. I have something for you.